Today, we'll be discussing morphology and anatomy of Neatum. Neatum is a gymnosperm uh, and is confined to the tropical and humid regions of the world and represented by about 40 different species. Majority of the Neatum species are woody climber, for example, Neatum ulla, Neatum montanum, except a few shrubs and trees, for example, Neatum nemon. Neatum is uh, a sporophytic plant which looks very much like an angiospermic plant. As you can see here. This is a twig of Neatum. Neatum has two roots, stem and leaves. Five species, that is Neatum contractum, Neatum nemon, Neatum montanum, Neatum ulla, and Neatum latifolium have been reported from India. Neatum ulla is the most commonly occurring species of India. And majority of the species, as I already told you, are climbers and shrubs. Stem of Neatum is woody. Two types of branches are present on the main stem of the plant, that is branches of uh, limited growth, that is dwarf branches, and branches of unlimited growth, that is long branches. Each branch contains nodes and internodes. I can see here nodes and internodes. And uh, some uh, means uh, stem of several species of netum is jointed, means articulated uh, in climbing species. The branches of limited growth or uh, dwarf branches are generally unbranched and bear foliage leaves. You can see here these are leaves. And uh, leaves 8 to 10 are arranged in decussate pairs. There are only uh, two leaves at each node. And uh, uh, the node is a swollen part. And uh, leaf pairs, you can see here, leaf pairs often lie in one plane and giving the appearance of a pinnate leaf to the branch. Then uh, the end uh, means apex of the leaf is acute and uh, petiole is very short, you can see here, and uh, some scaly leaves are also present. Root system uh, of Neatum consists of tap root and later branches. It resembles that of the dicot plants. Then the plants are dioecious, that is male and female plants are separate. The reproductive organs are called strobili. As you can see here, these are strobili and uh, they are produced at the tip of the dwarf branches. Next is anatomy. So first of all, we'll start with the uh, anatomy of stem. As you can see here, this is transverse section of young stem and this is transverse section of old stem. So transverse section of young stem, it shows epidermis, then cortex, then endodermis and uh, steel. Uh, epidermis is the outermost layer made up of compactly arranged uh, rectangular cells with thin walls and uh, possesses heavy cuticle. Cuticle uh, present the outside uh, of the epidermis. So the cells have uh, vapulate outgrowth. Sunken stomata are also present. So stomata are sunken. Then cortex. Cortex lies below the epidermis and is differentiated into outer. Just look at this part. This is cortex differentiated into three parts. This is outer part. So uh, outer part uh, is uh, chlorenchymatous. Middle, middle part is parenchymatous and uh, inner is sclerin chymatous. Uh, this this is sclerin chymatous cortex. So this is outer part, middle part, and inner part. So outer uh, uh, cortex is five to seven cell uh, in thickness. As you can see here, and consists of polygonal cells rich in chloroplast and uh, intercellular spaces are very small. Uh, this part, then middle cortex, a few. Uh, cells in thickness. It consists of compactly arranged thin wall cells and uh, containing stored food. Fiber cells are also seen scattered in this uh, layer. I can see here uh, thick wall. These are fiber cells. Then uh, next is uh, inner cortex. Inner cortex is two to five cells in thickness and uh, 
uh, cells are thick walled polygonal and branched or uh, unbranched pit canals are also seen here so this is circulate and committed cells of inner cortex next part is endodermis so endodermis is the outermost layer uh, I mean just uh, sorry innermost layer of the cortex and it consists of single layer of thin walled cells and is not very conspicuous here in the case of Needham. Then next part is steel. So steel, uh, it consists of uh, pericycle, uh, then uh, vascular bundles and pith. So pericycle is not very conspicuous in the young stem and uh, then uh, vascular bundles 20 to 24. Uh, these are vascular bundles 20 to 24 vascular bundles are arranged in the form of a ring vascular bundles are conjoined collateral and dark and open you can see here presence uh, presence of cambium so bundles are open vascular bundles are separated from each other by medullary rays uh, then each vascular bundle has an uh, outer uh, uh, phloem you can see here this is phloem part then middle cambium and inner xylem tissues. Phloem consists of sieve tubes and uh, uh, phloem parenchyma. Cambium consists of elongated meristematic cells. Xylem consists of tracheids and vessels. Tracheids uh, have a row of bordered pits on the oblique wall. Tracheids of protoxylem have uh, annular spiral thickenings but those of the metaxylem have reticulate thickening then last part pith so pith is the center of the stem has polygonal parenchymatous cells and are thin walled and compactly arranged now just look at the transfer section of old stem so scandric growth is of normal type uh, in erect woody species it is uh, similar to that of the uh, dicot stem so the parenchymatous tissues in between the vascular bundles give rise to the stripes of uh, cambium, right? So cambium is called uh, interfascicular cambium and the cambia join and um, uh, uh, these cambia joins the cambia of the vascular uh, bundle and form a complete cambium ring. I can see here complete cambium ring. and. Uh, the cambium ring produces scandry phloem toward the outer side and scandry xylem on the inner side. And the uh, interfascicular cambium produces broad parenchymatous medullary rays, uh, which connect the pith and cortex. Um, uh, Phalogen uh, multiseriate uh, is formed at the outer surface. This here. Uh, means uh, a phalogen is formed and it forms cock toward the outside and scandry cortex toward the inner side and here you can see the different rings next is root anatomy just look at these diagram this is transfer section of young root and this is transfer section of old root so ts of uh, the root is circular in outline and shows the outer epidermis then cortex and vascular bundles epidermis just look at this first outer layer epidermis uh, it is the outermost single layer and the epidermis cells are thin walled uh, rectangular and um, compactly arranged the cell also uh, give out unicellular root here hence the epidermis is also called epiblema so epidermis is uh, cuticularized means presence of cuticle outside the epidermis next part is cortex so young root has several layers uh, of uh, starch filled parenchymatous cortex and um, uh, the cells of which are large and uh, polygonal in outline so cortex lies just beneath the epidermis next to the cortex is endodermis just look at this uh, layer this is outermost there that is endodermis so endodermal layer is uh, distinguishable here in the case of uh, young stem of natum and uh, caspidian stripes are also seen uh, in the cells of endodermis so endodermis is followed by four to six layer pericycle so uh, just note it down the pericycle is four to six 
layer uh, means its thickness so next is vascular bundle root vascular bundle uh, roots are diarch or triarch you can see here uh, diarch condition and uh, xylem is radial and exact small amount of primary xylem is visible in the young roots uh, and becomes indistinguishable after secondary growth so xylem is uh, surrounded by phloem and pith is absent now just look at the ts of old root this, because secondary growth is normal uh, type in the case of uh, root of netum so small uh, strips of cambium arise from the phloem to form a ring of cambium a ring of cambium and uh, this cambium produces xylem toward the inner side and phloem toward the outer side then uh, it uh, a continuous zone of wood is present in the old root it consists of tracheids vessels and xylem parenchyma and uh, the tracheids have uniseriate bordered pits along uh, means uh, along with the bars of sinew um, uh, and vessels have simple or uh, small multiseriate bordered pits some of the xylem elements have starch grains also then uh, xylem is traversed by medullary rays you can see here th this is a xylem part phloem and you can see here in the xylem medullary rays are present uh, which are repairing cavitus and uh, have uh, rays radially elongated cells phloem consists of sieve cells and phloem parenchyma just look at this part this is phloem and you can see here this is pericycle multilayered and this is endodermis and in the cortex you can see here the fiber cells and uh, phloem consists of sieve tubes and uh, phloem parenchyma and some companion cells are also present uh, which arise from the phloem parenchyma next is leaf anatomy so internal structure of netum uh, of leaf is very similar to that of the angiospermic leaf so leaf is differentiated into you can see here transverse section of leaf here and it is uh, this part is differentiated into uh, epidermis mesophyll cells and then vascular uh, regions epidermis uh, you know it's the outermost layer and differentiated into upper epidermis and um, uh, on the dorsal side and lower epidermis on the ventral side and epidermal cells have uh, wavy outline uh, wavy wall right so lower epidermis has stomata you can see here stomata uh, while upper epidermis is lined with thick cuticle then mesophyll part of the leaf so it lies below the epidermis so this is mesophyll part and um, is it differentiated into palisade layer and uh, spongy parenchyma uh, palisade layer consists of single layer of elongated cells rich in chloroplast here this part palisade cells are not visible you can see here these are the palisade cells uh, you can see here elongated cell with chloroplast spongy part and spongy layer consists of loosely arranged lobed cells uh, in the midrib region the cells are polygonal and compactly arranged they are parenchymatous and this region uh, has the latex cells branched uh, secularates and uh, fiber also you can see here in between uh, these vascular bundles stone cells so next is vascular region vascular bundles are arranged in the form of uh, uh, an arc and uh, each vascular bundle is conjoint collateral and and dark and xylem in each bundle is located upward you can see here this is xylem it's upward and um, and phloem downward and uh, stone cells are also present here 